Hello boys and girls. Welcome back to pick up on my shoulder as I am new visioning all over near feud. I believe we are done in this lab. So I'm gonna grab another antibiotic just because <laughs> uh, we should have everything we need now. Uh, as it often happens, I I intend to take a few days off uh, from uh, from my ongoing let's play, and then uh, it was midsummer, and then I was tired, and then the other work caught up with it, and uh, then I found sort of realized that uh, when I spend half of my day dog sitting and thwarting the intrusively friendly attempts of my neighbor. It leaves me so mentally exhausted that I just don't want to do shit anymore when I get home. And as it often happens, uh, when I return into uh, return to a game after a while, can't remember shit. So we have learned about the passage. Princess who is savvy in all things uh, knowledge and social. Yes, this is definitely blood. <laughs> Barely coagulated. This word mural was painted recently. It says the passage of the golem is the key. Anyway, we have already gotten information here. We have already opened up uh, the uh, scientist guy's uh, phone, PDA, whatever it is. Uh, we have even uh, run the app in the uh, universe fracture thingy. What else is here? remember if I have vocalized this particular uh, conspiracy theory but something tells me this might not be the only version of uh, the good doctor yeah, so right now I'm, I'm just I'm just looking around to get back into the game uh, although uh, according uh, according to Chris the author of the game I should be pretty much done in the lab and also, I should be somewhere in the midpoint of the game right now. Whee! Okay, I don't have the brain to do the reading right now. Sorry. Let's talk to everybody. Hey, 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 yo. Any clue what Gertzel might use for a five-digit PIN number? I'm not sure, but Gertzel was fond of ancient text, mysticism, and numerology. He knew the Bible by heart. Whee! What was that Bible passage of the golem again? Psalms 139.16 Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Yep, so we Never have mind. <laughs> we have actually studied everything here. Who's in the vat? What's in the vat? Hey. Oh, okay. Don't mess with what then. Yo, 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 protege. What do you think? Oh, have I lost him? Maybe he has some Something. Any ideas on Gertzel's passcode? Uh, sorry, Holmes. Maybe you asked Princess Booty Cakes. <laughs> I'm shooting blanks here. <laughs> You're shooting, uh, you mean drawing. Ah, uh, I'm gonna leave that out there. <laughs> Never mind. Yo, yo, yeah. Yes, give me an idea. 
Hey, uh, buddy, you got any vantage point on our situation from the astral plane or insights beaming in from the cosmic background <laughs> radiation or something? The sound of one hand clapping, right. I just need to meditate more. Got it. Thanks for the pro tip. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here, I think. Anything else we can look at? Nope. So, is it exit something you walk to or something you activate? I think either way works, maybe? Right. Yes, we have a save point here, so let's go. Uh, guys? Alright, I think we've oh. learned all we can here. Let's go. Everybody gather around. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jobs age Christ, what the hell is that thing? Oh, damn, dog. <laughs> That's some flacked up Franken freak shit. Like that alien mutant motherfucker from the thing. <laughs> Guys, I'm a world leader and all, but I don't think it wants to negotiate a peace treaty with Earth. Let's get out of here. Hello. It just wants to talk! Maybe it just wants a hug. So, rank group. So, I think our next move should be to pay my old boss a visit down at the Coastlandia capital. The capital has regular 9 to 5 business hours, so it will be closed right now. But we can time hop to the future. Going to the past can be risky, tangling up your timelines or causing split ends. <laughs> like this one time when I went back and instigated a global revolution that ended World War III, and I had to go back further and change it. What? I mean, uh, never mind. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> uh, time travel is crazy, am I right? Anyway, so we're aiming for Coastlandia capital tomorrow morning. Got it. Before we do that, let's examine the shit some more. Also, a big shout out to Mrs. Silverspook, aka Princess Voice. Every time when I say like totally. How's it going there? I'm showing my uh, appreciation for Ayla, the voice work. Right? That's a sharp mask you got there. Is that a real <laughs> wool? Like from a real non electric sheep? Doesn't it uh, get stuffy in there? Or are you a humanoid bot underneath and don't need to breathe? You and both few buddy. Words. I like that. I'd trade you for this potty mouth chatterbox for a partner, but uh, you did kind of psyche rate me back there, and you generally fill me with an intense sense of foreboding. It get awkward, right? Great talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, good news, man. We're going to Coastlandia High City. Oh, hell yeah, dog. I'm going to be robo balling all up in them fly ass sky castles. Just like that hip hop star, R. Killer, in his music videos. Right. <laughs> Just don't do anything stupid to jeopardize our gracious royal benefactress's mission to save the world, okay? Yeah, yeah. I got this, dog. I can be a baller and save the world at the same time. I can multi-track. <laughs> Multitask. Ah, never mind. <laughs> okay. Never so, mind. So I take it that uh, I, I have to have. Carbon activate the the doodads.
gate, I suppose. Oop. So this is where we came from right now. And this is like the evil lair. So I'm guessing that our path is pretty much well depicted linearly at this point. Why yeah. don't you just go back and stop all of this from happening? Yeah. Like in what are those time travel movies? Terminator and Twelve Monkeys and Back to the Future. Y yeah, yeah, dog. We should just go back. Papa Cap and all the royal human bitches baby mamas. Like Sarah Connor, dog. Oh, no offense, princess. <laughs> Unfortunately, time travel doesn't seem to work like that. Going back is not like just airbrushing a blemish on your magazine cover image. When you go back, it's like redoing the photo shoot. Everything changes in unforeseeable ways, and it's basically impossible to go back more than a day without unraveling the space-time consciousness continuum itself. I think <laughs> that's what it's called. Okay, so we've got a time horizon of around 24 hours. So me scoring a date with young Scarlett Johansson is out of the question? Yep. Sorry. What about the old one? Okay, so now I think I'm starting to wake up a little bit. Starting to become aware of the game world again. So let's pick our next point. Boop, boop. already rezoned and begun gentrification of portions of low city for the stratoplexians who want a taste of authentic earth slum culture rust shanties the post-apocalyptic thing except in a high security controlled environment with luxury hotels four-star restaurants artisan robot maker spaces excellent how did the clearing of the tent cities and indigents go we had to bulldoze a bunch of makeshift structures and relocate the low city dwellers to the landfill, which was unfortunate. There were some holdouts in a robot protest that CPD took down with non-lethal EMP cannons. After that, we were able to squash any low city resistance with media blackouts of their rallies and agent provocateurs to legitimize violent crackdowns. They were mostly defective robo-trash and frakin' freaks anyways. No one connected was hurt or killed. Good. Frankly, I don't think that Hyptech should be taxed to pay for housing, nutrition, and medical care of these defective sentient experiments. Even if we did create them, they're all hopeless welfare queens, drug dealers, and criminals leeching off our profit margins. Survival of the fittest. I understand. And we all wish we could just wave a magic wand and make the tens of millions of Dickinson slum sprawlers disappear. We've rigged the Gortzell Takeda machines to falsely classify 60% of sentient individuals as subhuman to reduce payouts. But the auditors and social justice hounds are getting suspicious. That is not good enough. I dumped millions into your campaign chest, Mayor Laura. Why can't you make this happen? We've already cut Section 9 welfare and healthcare benefits to the bare minimum. If we push any further, the outcry from the sentient rights activists and the high city liberals alone, it would be a PR nightmare. Oh no. It's that damn stuck up bleeding heart Princess Sybil and her ilk. Our anti sentient rights super PACs have enough politicians in our pocket to overturn personhood for subhumans like these deadbeat robots and chimeras. <laughs> Shuffler! <laughs> wow, buddy! This quarter office is like Skymo had a baby with a sharper image. I bet my yearly salary would barely cover that chair you're sitting on. Damn, dog. This Mile High Club is dope as flat. 
You straight ballin' up in this biatch! <laughs> Carl, how the hell? Where of how the hell did you get in here? Oh my. Norton, what are these these plebeians doing here? <laughs> I didn't realize you were letting these low-born riffraff into the boardroom, Norton. How charitable. Carl, you stupid son of a bitch! I've been trying to get a hold of you for the last 12 hours. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I needed a mental health day after you had me play accomplice to kidnapping slash murder. So, I decided to burn some of my vacation time. What? You don't have vacation time. You don't have sick leave or benefits, and I don't care if the Silica's product acquisition gave you a heart attack. I own your ass. You are a Dickinson worker. I can have you work 20 hours a day with a broken leg and you will like it. It's in your contract. Because, like I said, there are literally thousands upon thousands of overqualified slum dwellers like yourself just begging for a job, even one as shit as yours. You are my peon. Don't you get it? You know, that was a great pitch. I mean, having to work with a broken leg and that being a replaceable worthless cog bit, that, that was a nice deal sweetener. But I think I have a better deal. Ooh, burn. Shouldn't you have like a goatee and twirling mustache or something? Can I look around? No. How about you tell me everything you know about the coke job schemes, or I have you fired? How's that sound? Jobs H. Flacking Christ, have you been snorting Mythium down there with your ghetto bot friends? You not hear a word I said? I like this burn better. <laughs> you know... This is so awkward. I think I should just have you meet my new boss. Okay, Sybil. Come on in. I don't have time for this dramatic Jerry Maguire bullshit, Carbon. I'm having lunch with the mayor of Coastlandia and the CEO of Hype Tech here. So I'm giving you 30 seconds to... Oh! Ah, uh, Princess Sybil Clinton Bush. As a surprise. Impossible. <laughs> your Highness, uh, we are most humbled by your presence. <laughs> That's right, asshole. Bow before your betters. Who's got the clout market corner now? Get up, get up, Mr. Shuffler. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. And please, just Sybil. We're all friends here. <laughs> Of course, Your Highness. I mean, uh, Sybil. Unfortunately, I'll have to request that you postpone your agenda with the mayor and the hype tech CEO. Ah, ah, <laughs> well, it's a very important meeting involving a very progressive, sentient rights respecting education initiative. Yes, I was just laying out Coastlandia City's plans to redouble efforts into the robot homeless rehousing project. In truth, we were just discussing your outstanding philanthropic <laughs> work. In fact, I was about to write a $500 million check for your Sunshine Apartments Mixed Species Community Project. Ah, uh, yes. I know all about these education initiative scams to sell a billion hype-tech gadgets to underfunded schools who can't use them. Oh. Well, um... And this robot rehousing is just a cover project to launder money for the development of a massive resort and luxury real estate gentrification of Dickinson. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh. And Nolan, really? As cute as it is, you offering me money? We all know that when I need cash, I can have my central bank print it. Oh, well, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm sure the meeting attendees will understand the rescheduling. Mayor Laura being my cousin, and the hype tech CEO being my ex-boyfriend. No one's Ooh, always hollow texting me to get my daddy to throw more billions at his interstellar spaceship company. Oh, your majesty, this is most... Of course. Laura, Nolan, 
My deepest apologies, but it looks like we'll need to reschedule. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a good sport. And let me just personally commend you all on the important hard work you do here at Coastlandia Sentient Services. Without your vital leadership, we would have so many of our non-human brothers and sisters falling through the cracks of homelessness, food insecurity, drug abuse, and turning to lives of crime. You give hope to us all. Oh, Whee! well, uh, yes. I'm just doing my job, Princess. Of course. Now on to business. Sybil, sweetheart, if I could just pull you aside for a second. Our Condor 10 rocket is fully operational and the Jovian mission is a go. If I could just get a cash infusion... <laughs> no, Nolan. For the last time, I'm not getting your interstellar thing greenlit. Now please leave, unless you want your interplanetary contract cancelled. <laughs> right. So sorry, Sybil. Uh, I'll be going now. Cousin, if I could just get a quick selfie with you and maybe an endorsement? Elections coming up and all. Not now, Laura. I'll <laughs> see you at the lunar wedding, okay? I hear they're reincarnating David Bowie and Michael Jackson for it. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you there, cuz. Whee! Oh, Jobs, I could have used her backing. I really need the progressive liberal vote. Watch out for a currency, you're giving yourself a hernia! Ah, okay, now we can talk, I suppose. Oh, since we're in the new area, let us save. Okay, keyboard isn't responding, but... Chris told me that the question mark opens the main menu, which is handy. And we're at the new... What's my name? look uh, exactly as suspicious to me. I mean, they all look suspicious to me. Also, if they were having lunch, what were they having? Like cocaine? Browsing, don't mind us. Have it. these guys like with us didn't come with us. <laughs> yo, yo, Agent, talk to us. Uh, Agent? Can I have a word? I'm sorry, sir. Move along. <laughs> I I'm a friend of Princess Sybil's. You guys must be her royal guard. I need you to help me with something. I'm sorry, sir, we're not allowed to hold conversations with civilians on the job. I get it, I get it, but... <laughs> okay, so I guess these guys did... 
come in with us. Okay, so we can have That's all for now. Asking questions. Yeah, what do you what think? What do you think about the situation, Proto? I think I'm a situation my metal butt into that dope zero G jacuzzi. Order me up some gold leaf filet <laughs> mignon and call up some sweet robo shorties to massage me. Okay, but can you help me out with this interrogation here? Maybe <laughs> use your Jedi mind trick magic on Mr. Congeniality over there? You just want me to scan that Shuffler homie's brain box? Ooh. Roger oh, Dodger, maybe, I, maybe I should have talked to him first. So? Well, I see he stay out till 2 a.m. with tentacle cyborg sex bots at the club. He comes home <laughs> and lies to his wife, saying he was working. Feels real bad about the cheating, though. <coughs> uh, I don't need <laughs> sex life. Gross. What does he know about the kidnapping? The, the soldiers that attacked us at the arcade? Ah, uh, he most deaf knows about it. He's seen them same swap flackers that sting our chrome boys hang out. Seen them here, in his office. Anything else? Is he working for the Coke Jobs Dynasty? My head check only grabbed the cliff notes, bruh. I can't get the high def details. Sorry, dog. Oh, oh. one night, Shuffler was hitting that tentacle cyborg booty in that jacuzzi. It was like rated X Iron <laughs> Chef with secret ingredient calamari. Ah, ah, enough with the sordid <laughs> details. I'm gonna vomit. Right, yeah. Uh, anyways, I think Shuffler messed with that plant afterwards. The little decorative greenery over here, huh? Alright, thanks for the lead. <laughs> and by messed with the plants, I mean now. like, I don't want to know. <clears throat> also, you know, as a how they say half to half toast yourself shouldn't you be a little bit uh, more I mean a little bit less intolerant about you know tentacle shit maybe just just you let's mess with the chair oh okay too bad Okay, maybe we should actually talk to him. Yo! Alright, Shuffler. As much as I love seeing you squirm, it's time to start talking. I don't know how the hell you managed to get the princess in here, but that still doesn't make you a prince. I'm not saying another word to you. Ooh. Okay, uh... Wait, let's let's have Princess talk first. Uh, Sybil, Shuffler is icing me out. Could you try leaning on him? Leaning on him, like interrogate him? Well, I mean, you don't have to hit him. Uh, just like issue him a <laughs> royal decree or order him or whatever. He, he can't go against a Clinton Bush. Look, what I said back there, I was just putting on my dad's persona. Intimidation isn't really me. I don't want to hurt anyone. It would go against the Egalite Cooperative's mission statement. Hey, you can't break a revolution without scrambling some eggs, right? I mean, uh, you can't make an omelet. I know what you mean, Carl. You're right. I guess I'll have to toughen up sooner or later. Mm. I'll do it. But I want you to find some incriminating evidence, something that proves he was knowingly involved. You're talking about probable cause. I'm an ex-cop. I, I know how it works. But aren't we kind of past due process? I mean, why bother giving this obviously corrupt, sniveling bastard of a man such mercy? 
That's exactly the point, Carl. I'm trying to not be like my neo-feudal family. If I want to have a just, equal, and magnanimous world, I have to show equal justice and mercy to even my most despised enemies. Damn it. You're right, Sybil. Man, being good is gonna be hard work. <laughs> That's all for now. Okay, so I guess we have to examine that uh, the plant again. We're gonna have to engage the plant. Is there something behind here, or is that just protege? I oh, know it's part of the chair, I think. Can we like examine? Ooh, yoink. Hey, what are you doing? I'm playing with your fancy levitating jacuzzi. <laughs> Man, you bureaucrats and executives get all the perks. Don't mess with the gyration setting. Something's wrong with it. Last time I tried that, the whole jacuzzi was launched out the window. It was 200k to replace. Oh, really? Hey, what are you- I'm playing with- Don't- It was 200- Oh, okay. Okay, so it seems that while the top is levitating, I can't, uh, can't look under it or anything. Okay, in that case, let's engage the plant. Yo. Let's give it the finger! No, 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 guys, guys, guys working here <laughs> put it away can we oh okay we already picked it up oh okay show me show me show me So I guess it changes back if we exit. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, take a look at this dude down here. What's this? Yo. Yoink. Try it? Okay, guess not. Let's 
Uh, no, no, no. All right, okay. Shuffler. As much as I love seeing you squirm, it's time to start talking. I don't know how the hell you managed to get the princess in here, but that still doesn't make you a prince. I'm not saying another word to you. Mm. All right, Shuffler. Okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. We have to figure something else out. You. Norm. Norton. Hey! Former boss man! Look what the cat dragged in from that little cubby hole under your Douchelandia standard desk. Hey, that ain't my phone. I've never seen it before. You planted that, Carvin, <laughs> you son of a bitch! Your Majesty, I mean, Princess Sybil, I don't know what deal you have with Carl, but he has it in for me. He's just trying to frame <laughs> me. And the 2033 Academy Award for Best Dramatic Performance in a Conspiracy Plot goes to Norton Shuffler. There's a real simple litmus test to tell this ain't a plant and do a background check on you at the same time. Nailed it! <laughs> if this isn't your phone, why is the neural passcode set to your brain scan, Mr. I'm being framed? I, you, you did. You did a. Uh, I, I da ba do do go go ga ga. What's that? You sound like a retarded monkey having a stroke, man. I think we need to shove your head into a Gertzel Takeda consciousness test and see if you still qualify as a sentient person. Let's just see what we have here. Black King, 10.05 AM. We need you to acquire asset prototype J13916, AKA Johnny Silica, goes by Proto J. Oh, Use any and all number. means necessary. Shuffler's response, I have just the man, Carl Carbon. He's running sentient services grunt work, but he's an ex-cop, top of the line, till he was crucified during the riot quellings. Black King, the Coastlandia police are vassals owned by the Clinton Bushes. We have little sway there. This Carbon, he is fully disconnected from the police. Shuffler, he was publicly shamed in the news and excommunicated. No ties, I checked. We can use him. Black King, be sure to vet him well. It's paramount that we maintain a cold war for now. If this Carbon proves a double agent or is turned to another side, they may get wind of our operation and trace it back to the Coke jobs. Shuffler, don't worry. Proto J will be brought in and will dispose of carbon if necessary. So that was the plan, Shuffler? Have me help you abduct Proto J and his sister? Then have the Coke job swat, put one in my brain pan, toss me in the landfill? <laughs> you more black and high city piece of shit! <laughs> Relax, Proto. You'll get your chance. <laughs> Come on, Shuffler. You've got to up your clandestine malfeasance scheme. You'll never get away with systemic injustice at this rate. This is insanity. Look at the lengths he's gone to to burn me at the stake. He's a crooked cop himself. Don't you know that he shot an innocent humanoid machine? That's why he was let go from the CPD. He's depressed, unstable, looking for someone to blame. After he lost his job, leaving his wife and kid to fend for themselves. Mm. I told you never to talk about my family, asshole. You goddamn two-faced yes-man weasel. Throwing people under the bus for a goddamn percentage. I'm gonna make sure you're crucified. I'll drive the nails in my own goddamn self, you oxygen thief. Carl, hold on. You've made your point. I've seen enough evidence. Let me try, okay? <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> princess. Go ahead. Now, Norton, I understand you've been uh, contacted by some unsavory characters to do work for them. Rivals of my family, to be exact. <laughs> princess Sybil, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I... 
look, I'm sure you're just a nice guy and all, <laughs> but unfortunately, we really, really need this information. Like, pretty please with sugar on top. Trust us, it is all for a good cause of social justice. I'm sorry, Your Grace. I really wish I knew what... Mm. Uh -oh. OMG <laughs> I'm so sorry about that Mr. Shuffler Come on guys He's a Strataplex corporate state bureaucrat His well dressed presentable looking face Is his primary job skill I don't know Anything I swear I just got a phone call with an offer An offer? Like an offer you couldn't refuse Kind of offer? You could say that? What the hell does it matter what the offer was? You do not speak to a princess like that. Think. <laughs> Answer the question. Please, guys. This is a high city office. What if there are reporters or bloggers or, like, activists around? <laughs> it would be such an unfortunate travesty to have to silence them all. Violence is not the answer. We have to be the change we want to see, you know? I'd much prefer to have Mr. Shuffler put on the Clinton Bush blacklist, ensuring he never works in the Stratoplex again, <laughs> other than as a janitor. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you everything. On one condition. Immunity from the Coke Jobs family. They'll kill me if they get wind that I help their neo-feudal rival. You have my word. <gasps> Whee! You never thought, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, but you never thought maybe you might have just answered your Dark Lord's phone call and said, I'm out. I can't stand ripping innocent families apart. Fathers shot six times in the faceplate in front of their wife and kid by stormtroopers with no judge, jury, or cause just for the heinous crime of trying to protect their own children. I thought sentient services was supposed to be about helping the less fortunate out, not torturing and murdering them. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I never wanted anyone to get hurt, but I've got a non-micro-home mortgage to float, flying car insurance costs an arm and a leg, and my oldest son just came out as trans species as well as transgender. That ungulate gene splice op ain't cheap, never mind Ivy League college tuition. I'm doing what I have to do to provide for my family. Taking care of my castle. It sucks that there's a 99% that loses and a 1% that wins, but that's just how it is. This is neo-feudalism, not some touchy-feely, pussy-ass, democratic socialism we're living in here. What's the coke job's plan? I'm operating on a need-to-know basis, obviously. <laughs> but from what I can tell, something very, very big is going down tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Where? I don't know, but there's a big G8 global economic summit happening or something. It's like 10 million per plate, super secret type event. Like the Quadrilateral Commission Bilderberg Group Scale Meeting. I'm not even high enough class to be a waiter there. Oh no, the Fulcrum Summit? It's hosted at the Clinton Bush Sky Castle, uh -oh. my family's royal estate. Looks like we're gonna be paying your folks a visit, Sybil. Oh, yeah, I just love running into my insanely drugged up and clingy mom <laughs> and loveless, basically non existent dad. Oh, goody. <laughs> hey, at least we've got a lead, the element of surprise. I'm sick of getting ambushed by goon squads like a schmuck. Okay, and now the whole story. The whole truth, and nothing but the truth now. Okay, look, I'm just Sentient Services Program Director. I'm just a run-of-the-mill, middle management type. Professional administrivia pusher. Before all this, I was running non-humans through the Gertzel Takeda machine, pushing papers and rubber stamping permits in Dickinson, Low City. Sentient Services, like Carl here works, used to work? <laughs> I'm in, what's it, a transitional employment situation? <laughs> On retainer for Sybil here. <laughs> right. So I'm making peanuts, struggling to pay for my kids' medical bills. Why threatening to leave me for some Gates Walton Viscount marketing exec she's chat snapping with online? I'm living one step away from Section 8 with daily robo drive bys, and I can hear the myth deals going bad through my paper thin walls. 
driving a 30-year-old Toyundai fossil fuel beater. N no offense, Carl. None taken. <laughs> so, anyway, my life sucks, right? But lo and behold, an angel. Angel investor doth appear. I get a call one day, and some machine-garbled voice tells me all my problems can go away. Tells me I'm due for a life upgrade to neo-feudal stratoplex citizen. All I have to do is... Whatever my new lord says. I've been working five years with no promotion. Not a cent salary increase. And the next thing I know, boss tells me there's a me-shaped opening in High City. I've got 150 k a year salary in Oak Nameplate. Sentient Services Executive Director. Stellar aerial view of Coastlandia proper. Managing an entire division. My ancient Toyunde dirt roller is upgraded to a flying last year model Aero Prius. And my new goal in life is keeping the status quo. At first, the voice of my new incognito lord chimes in once a month or so, asking me to hire some dingus. I assume he's the village idiot nephew of my mysterious lord. Or maybe ensure that Child Protective Services investigates Mr. and Mrs. Deadbeat Frankenfreak or Toaster. No offense to the robot. Uh... <laughs> Proto J. And go flack yourself, bitch. <laughs> right. So it's a great deal. I get the nepotism uplift, and all I have to do is reallocate resources according to my secret patron's desire. Real awesome. But then, things start getting weird. Phone calls become weekly, then daily. I'm asked to initiate purchase of strategic real estate, fire people, some of whom I actually like, and even sign off on totally cooked books. I'm even asked to have CPS remove by any means necessary certain children and have their parents arrested. I'm asked to have my agents fabricate evidence, planted if necessary, like what I had to ask Carl to do. What the hell are those powerless poor people, mostly robots and transgenics, gonna do? Anyway, so the most recent assignment was capturing Proto-J here, and I put carbon on it. They were real, real unhappy when I lost touch. Well, well, well. Okay. We've got all the info we need. Now, can oh, we launch no. the jacuzzi? That sound good. Flack! The doors are sealed uh, shut. Please step oh. aside, sir. We might have to launch the jacuzzi. Your Highness, it appears someone has hacked into the building's control systems. I am unable to access the wireless through my neural net. Oh, Flack. Oh, Flack, oh, Flack. That must be them. The Coke Jobs. Son of a billionaire. Not again. <laughs> They're coming for me. They're coming for me? Game over, man. You gotta help me. You gotta do something. Shuffler... Will you shut the hell up and get a grip? Let's just think. What the hell? It's Shuffler's phone. Hello? Who is this? This is General Walker Coke Jobs, uh -oh. Commander-in-Chief of the Coke Jobs Military Industrial Complex. And to whom am I speaking? Carl Carbon, a uh, liaison of Princess Sybil. We know your game, General. We know you're the one pulling the strings, abducting sentients out of Lower Coastlandia. We know you ordered the hit on Proto-J. Your game is up. My boy, this is obviously your first rodeo, but I respect your tactics. Back there at that robot watering hole, the arcade, was it? How in tarnation you fended off two squadrons of my men like and escaped on that here. fancy glimmer mobile? Hell, I'd buy you a drink just to hear the story. Unfortunately, it's your game that is most definitely up. I danced with your kind in Nam. Saigon, 1974. Charlie's like you, popping in and out of the jungle. Guerrilla warfare. Psyops like your mind-controlling robo-boy over there. Smart moves. In the end, the only way to win is a scorched earth policy. Burn the whole damn jungle down. 
Agent Orange and Fire worked again in the Middle East and again in the second Dresden firebombing. We burned the leftist uprising right out of Germany. I do love the smell of napalm in the morning. Do you smell that, Charlie? Do you? Uh-oh. What is that? <laughs> Launch the jacuzzi! Son of a bitch. That doesn't matter though. The architect behind the Golem project, Dr. Gertzel, is in our custody. That ain't possible, son. I had my personal SEAL Team 6 bust down his door at 0800 hours this morning and off him. Just like Aha, I did. Now we have a coordinate. JFK and all the rest. So the Coke Jobs did assassinate Dr. Gertzel, and we have the time. 8 o'clock this morning. General Coke Jobs, there is no way we're handing Proto-J over to you. You and I both know he is the key to the Golem Project, and you know I'll never let that fall into the hands of people like you, or my father. Oh, the lost Clayton Bush girl is speaks. You got spunk, your worshipfulness, but I reckon your cutesy little hippity-dippity revolution is up, my <laughs> rebel princess. We're taking the back kid either way. We'd much prefer to take you, Princess, as a POW for trade. But if you refuse to surrender, we're happy to oblige your majesty's desire for martyrdom. We'll burn you down just like a latter-day Joan of Arc. I oh The Egalte Cooperative will not surrender to an insane old coot like you. I was hoping you'd say that. Time for the shock and awe, Charlie. Yeehaw! Oh, shit! Everyone, get behind the desk! Uh, the princess you, is priority one. Hostile inbound. Spot, spot, spot. Oh, dog. This general cowboy be more black and AWOL cray cray. He gonna count the flack out of us. I'm gonna give you folks... Hmm, what time is it anyway? Almost lunch. Okay, I'll give you kids one minute to decide. Then the whirlwinds are coming, Charlie. Big Bertha. <laughs> Jobs H. Christ. What was that? It's the Coke Jobs CJ-74 Overthrower. It's renowned for its uses in coup d'etat of liberal, progressive democracies across the world. Great. Well, we've got to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, Princess, where is your space-time craft thing? Can you just teleport it to our location and warp us out? This superpositor? I can use remote pilot to warp it in, but Coke Jobs will blow it up as soon as they see us trying to get away on it. So we've got to take that goddamn overthrower warcopter down. I'm guessing small arms won't do it. We'll need something else, something bigger. Okay, I need to save here because I sent some margin of error. Also, oh boy, I do hope this isn't gonna be a... Oh. real-time sequence. How do I fix it exactly? Okay. And I'm guessing we don't have that much time. Let's see, we 
we do have duct tape. What's wrong with it? Do they have some parts? Yeah, do they have useful parts? Yo, princess. So your secret service guys. I guess their secret is they're not actually human? What are they? Yeah, well, the Clinton Bush Royal Guards are one of the applications that came out of the Golem Project. They're a more advanced body. Their tissue mimics biology, but it's stronger, and they don't need to eat or drink. Oh, poop. Not strong enough, sadly. Their blood uses something called emulative smart nanites. They should be able to auto-repair themselves, but it may take some time, given the amount of damage they've taken. Unfortunately, time is in short supply. So, this smart nanite emulator stuff, how smart is it, exactly? Well, theoretically, it can diagnose and repair any basic electronic or mechanical structure. Uh-huh. Good to know. So, do we still have that bottle? No. Can I scrape? Can I just scoop some up? Yoink! Okay. Bloop, bloop. Okay, and let's save again. Just in case the uh, the jacuzzi launch sequence happens to be timed. Shuffler, you said your jacuzzi malfunctioned and launched itself out the window before, right? Oh, uh, what? Yeah. When I tried the gyration setting, shot the whole damn tub out at a hundred miles an hour. Which way did the jacuzzi go, exactly? It went to the right of that little palm plant, straight out the window. I guess it's gonna go straight out this window. I'm only gonna get to launch it once, so I better have the plan set before I try anything. Uh -oh. Okay, so exit. Let's talk to the others, maybe? Uh, let's see. Any ideas? Uh, I don't know, bruh. Uh, if I had me an RPG or one of them mudflacking stinger missiles or some shit. How about your mind control? <laughs> Maybe you can hijack the CJ-74 by hijacking the pilot's brain. No, dog. He's too far for that shit to work. Wait, wait. You ever seen Die Hard 4? Live free or die hard? The one where that evil Steve Jobs nigga hacked the US? Take down the grid and shit? <sighs> I'm no hacker, kid. And aren't these action movie cop jokes getting old? I'm not, I'm not You're gonna go old. For reals. There's that one scene. Uh, Bruce Willis runs out of bullets, so he kills a helicopter by launching a flacking car into it. Okay, so you're saying I should evil Knievel a car out the window into that coke jobs war copter. Great. No, no, Holmes. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, you need to launch some big ass, unusual object at giant flying choppers to blow them up. That's how this shit works, dawg. Okay. 
I'll keep my eye out for <laughs> big ass unusual objects. Thanks. Right, so I guess we have to get him standing here. Hashtag YOLO dog. <laughs> okay, he's here. Oh, do I have to get the others into... Yeah, maybe I need to talk to the others first. Hey! They're coming for me. They're okay. You guys are... position What happens if he goes to the other window? I'm I'm guessing he's going to get shot. But right now the the chopper doesn't seem to well let's just wait a little maybe it's a time thing. I think if I send him here, then the chopper is just gonna pop up and uh, shoot him. Shuffler, you said you're. Oh, which way did it went to the right of that little? Okay. Wait. I guess it's gonna go straight out this window. I'm only gonna get to launch it once. Okay, so it's not launch time yet. If I walk here... Oh, okay, we have to let them know that we are ready, I suppose. Okay. Just not gonna come up on its own. Yeah, okay. So, Charlie, are you prepared to surrender? We surrender. We're, we're sending Protege out. Have your aircraft come over to the window to pick him up. A wise decision, Charlie. Ooh. Go back to the jungle. Live to fight another day. I like that. Just have the Proto, what's his face, jump for the ladder when it comes down. Interact with it yet? Can we interact with it yet? Jacuzzi! What the fuck you doing? Just trust me and get out of the way when I say. Now! Whee! <laughs> Snap. Poof. Oh, damn, dog. You flapped up that helicopter with that jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, that was some serious gangster shit, yo. Yeah. Uh, we better get the hell out of here before that batshit crazy General Coke Jobs sends a fleet of them or an antimatter bomb or something. Okay. The superpositor should be safe to teleport in now. Bloop, bloop. Holy shit. Are you guys uh all right? I mean, you just got Swiss cheese with bullets decapitated and dismembered. That's got to hurt. I am operating at 78% efficiency. Not optimal, but enough to continue the mission. Hostile ground troops have entered the building. 
You should evacuate the premises immediately, princess. We will hold them off. <laughs> Do we have to ride. take him with us? Oh, we do. Jobs. I almost can't believe General Warren would risk an aerial assault. But then I remember he's literally <laughs> insane. Agreed. He's a totally shell-shocked hawk. I used to work with vets at CPD. And PTSD does your head in. Never saw one leading a major transplanetary dynasty, though. Scary stuff. At least we know the time and place of the attack on Dr. Gertzel. Before we head there, I need to take care of some business at the Coastlandia capital. I'll need to take my official Royals Royce Skycar. <laughs> if anyone was to see Princess Sybil Clinton Bush in this super advanced covert ops superpositor, they'd know I was up to something. This ride does have a very Roswell vibe to it. Okay, I guess I'll head back to Sunshine Apartments interview some of the witnesses of the coke jobs attacks and see if I can't find anything useful. I'd best be rolling back to my crib. I uh, don't know if that's the best idea right now. The coke jobs just hit your Dickinson hideout. Best idea? My oil brothers just got blown away by the fake 5-0. You mean your gangbanger friends? Don't you be dissing my <laughs> peeps. Just cause you boys in blue ain't got your back no more. I took the fall for my team. At least we weren't a bunch of drug dealing. Enough. Carl, please. We need to listen to each other and work together. Please, let Proto finish. Right now, my chrome boys be bleeding antifreeze. Homie's motherboard's full of holes. And they be asking, where is Protege? Thinking... The six billion dollar baller ain't worth <laughs> six cents. Nah, dog. I'ma help y'all with this stick it to the man plan. But right now, I gotta get back there. Make sure it ain't game over at the arcade. Help pay respects to the chrome boys who bit the dust. I understand, Proto. It would be hypocritical of the Egalite Cooperative to ask its members to neglect their own communities. You do what you need to do. Fine, but I'm going on record saying it's a risky move. You guys can take the space time craft. My official ride has just made soft dock, so I'll be getting off here. Meet me back at this place one hour into the future. Okay. Which future? I'll bookmark these reality position coordinates. Oh no, we're on our own. Nice. Now that her majesticness is out of the picture, we can handle our business up in here. So you the mudflacking douchelandia snake that had my Uncle Todd whacked and my baby sis taken, huh? Didn't Princess Sybil just grant me immunity? <laughs> I don't give two bites about royal decrees and shit. She ain't here to protect you now, is she? Hey, I was just following orders, okay? It wasn't my decision. Proto, come on. You was making bank! Your fly ass, floating jacuzzis, crystal penthouses! You was making money kidnapping kids! Innocent kids! Like princess! Say a fleckin' name, you fat cat filth! Princess! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll help you get her back. Whatever you want. Too late for that. Maybe you just pay a six-figure fee. Call it a day in High City. But on the low city street, we have a simple law. I'm going to show <laughs> you how we even things in the hood. Proto, this isn't going to bring Todd and Princess back. We need him. Please. I've got two kids, a family. Please don't do this, I'm begging you. Uncle Ty had a wife and kids too. But that don't matter to Blue Blood Flax like you do it. Say goodnight, Blue Blood. No! Uh, you uh, made me miss, you dirty pig! <laughs> You're not killing him, you thick-headed bot kid. It would feel good to kill him. 
I'll give you that. He represents everything I hate about this world, too. I like how he just keeps flailing in you the background. Him, <laughs> dust your hands off. Head back down into that hole in that Dickinson wasteland you scrape by in. But that's the easy way out. The truth is, the people who really call the shots, who disappear kids like your sister, had your uncle killed, the people who made Low City and High City the way they are, they're untouchable. They're gods. The neo feudals but we have one chance one chance out of a billion with Sybil we have a goddess on our side she can reach out with her golden fingers and hurt them but if we kill this tool this flunky of the corporate state then we're throwing our one chance away we're dooming a million a billion more princesses and Todd's to death Kidnapping, slavery, suffering, eating each other in Dickinson as the untouchables eat gold leaf caviar in heaven. I'm begging you, don't do this. Hmm. Not bad, Popo. <laughs> I can tell you were on point during them hostage negotiations. Ah, oh, thank you. But this ain't mean I trust the princess either. She could be just as bad as them untouchables she claimed to be fighting. What are you talking about? Are you so short on RAM that you've already forgotten we'd be assault rifle fodder for the coke jobs death squad if it wasn't for her? Convenient. She beaming just in town, eh, dog? Save us like flacking Kira Knightley in shining armor. I bet you 10 G's she knew the exact time and place we was gonna get capped. The RPC, Reality Police Cordites or whatever. So you're telling me Princess Sybil Clinton Bush manufactured the shootout just so it would look like she saved the day. That she is turning against her quadrillionaire, multi-planet owning King Daddy risking assassination or capture by rival neo-feudals and has pushed billions in assistance towards the poor, all so that she can overthrow her father and take the crown for herself? I ain't saying one way or the other, but <laughs> I is saying that you got them googly eyes for Ms. Royal Thang with the highfalutin' save the world speeches. I'm saying... Maybe use a little wit, and you ain't thinking straight. You giving her a free pass when you should be doing a background check, investigating like a real cop. Uh, Burn! I'm not. Look, I'ma go check on my boys. Just do me a favor and do some detective work on her. All right? Fine. If it'll make you feel better. I'll see what I can dig up. I know it's going to be a waste of time, though. We can trust Sybil. Swoosh! Huh. Looks like I did the superpositor space-time coordinates, right? This looks exactly like when I came to work this morning. I doubt I'll find anything to suggest Sybil's been lying to us, but I might as well check it out to give Protege peace of mind. Uh oh, someone's coming. And someone's pooping. That's that girl who I helped out at Sentient Services this morning, Jezebel. Wait, what the hell is going on? Those guys look just like the royal android agents that escorted Sybil at the Coastlandia capital. What are they doing talking to that Jezebel Bach girl?
well, well, well. Ah, uh, I don't like this at all. I better investigate and get ready for a stakeout once Jezebel comes out of sentient services. Oh shit, that's my car coming. Uh, I better not run into myself <laughs> or I might foobar the space-time continuum and implode the cosmos or whatever. <sighs> Stupid cyber arm glitching out again. Ah, well, I can't afford to fix it right now, and I'm already late. This dude is just <laughs> squatting you. <laughs> Wait, what did I just activate? Okay. What I want to do now is save the game. And end this episode because we have had some developments. We have achieved a few things and the story is unfolding. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to record the next one right away. You can find Neo Feud on Ichio. Uh, I will put the I will put a link to uh, Chris's site in the description, uh, which will further have the links to Ichio site and soon hopefully uh, Steam and maybe even GOG. Also, you should vote so that Neofood gets some GOG. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye.